now I I want to discuss about metals as magnetic impedance. So in computers they will be reinforcement of matrix. So these metals from the matrix as a matrix material, what will be the advantages they are going to discuss now. So what are the advantages? Long term resistance to severe environment such as high temperature aids from the modulus of the visibility of most metals are higher than those for cosmos, which is an important consideration for applications requiring high transfer strength. This can be plastically deformed and strengthened by a variety of thermal and mechanical treatments. Main disadvantage of form metals as matrix materials are high specific gravities, high melting points, tendency towards corrosion of the fiber. Most commonly used metal metal matrices are based on aluminum and chromium because both have the low densities of aluminum. 2.7 grams per kg per centimeter cube, titanium 4.5 grams per centimeter cube. Magnesium, although it's lighter than lighter than aluminum and titanium, means their density is 1.74 gram per centimeter cube, is unsuitable due to the great affinity to the oxygen which promotes corrosion. Nickel and cobalt based super alloys have been used as a matrix. However, some alloying elements in them tend to extend the oxidation of the fibers at elevated temperatures. Nowadays, most of the researchers are doing works on aluminum matrix composites. Aluminum alloy matrix composites are the suited to the applications below the temperature of 400 degrees centigrade. Aluminum alloys such as 6061-2024 has been used for their high strength to weight ratio. Carbon is the most common fiber used with aluminum alloys. At typical fabrication technology, temperatures of 500 degrees centigrade or higher, carbon reacts with the aluminum to form the aluminum carbide which severely degrades the mechanical properties of the composites. Protective coatings of either titanium boride or sodium are used as a carbon fibers to reduce the problem of fiber degradation as well as to include the wetting of the aluminum alloy matrix. Carbon fiber reinforced aluminum composites are inherently prone to galvanic corrosion. The more most common reinforcement for aluminum is silicon carbide. Next, by the way, when the matrix is used to titanium alloy as the base matrix, then those type of matrix are called as titanium alloy matrix. Most usually in heavy matrix composites are alpha beta alloys and metastable beta alloys. Titanium alloys have higher tensile strength to weight ratios as well as the strength of retention at 400 to 500 degrees centigrade. Thermal expansion coefficient of titanium alloys is closer to that of the reinforcing fibers, which reduces the thermal mismatch between them. One of the problems of the titanium alloys is high reactivity with boron. Applications of silicon carbide or aluminum silicon carbide and aluminum composites. It is used in development of missile body castings, wing structural elements. Silicon carbide and titanium composites they are used to drive shaft for core of the engine, requiring increasing stiffness and the increased critical vibratory speed ranges. Next comes to ceramic matrices. Ceramic matrix composites are still in early stages of component design, fabrication, and test testing. These materials with their damage.
age, tolerant mechanical behavior are considered as the prime candidates for application of realistic aircraft gas turbine engines. The selection of matrix materials for ceramic composites is strongly influenced by the thermal stability and process concentrations.